Today is going to be a slightly different episode, where instead of going out in search of wild lemurs, we'll be meeting some domestic ones. The Vacona Reserve in Andesibe has its very own lemur island, an isolated island that dozens of rescued lemurs call home. These lemurs have been rescued from such things as the international pet trade, and as we started walking around the island, there were certainly a lot of them. They had various lemur species, such as this common brown lemur, and even red-fronted brown lemurs, lemurs that are not native to this region of Madagascar, and they certainly weren't afraid in getting up close and personal in order to get some food. I must say, I've filmed in some pretty awesome environments, but this one's definitely a first for me, having a lemur on your back. <laughs> lemur Island was also home to a much smaller species of lemur, a species that we've met in the wild before. Eastern bamboo lemurs. Wild bamboo lemur populations have suffered drastically, whether that's being hunted for bushmeat or captured to be sold as pets. Although the bamboo lemurs here don't particularly get on very well with the other species. A large and stunning white ruffed lemur approaches. Both the bamboo and the white ruffed lemur can be found native here in the forests of Andesibe. However, both occupy different types of forest. Having met all the species of lemur on the main island, we decided to explore some of the other islands. So we're just now exploring the other islands in this area. Hopefully we'll be able to see ring-tailed lemurs and Dydon safarka. Uh, these are also lemurs that have been rescued and no tourists are allowed to walk on these islands. Our first stop was going to be the island of the rescued ring-tailed lemurs, and we were told that they were particularly shy and didn't necessarily like people, but they were all there awaiting our presence. And when the boat got close enough, the ringtails eagerly approached for some food. We were told these lemurs didn't like to be touched, but I'm now being clambered on by all these ring-tailed lemurs. <laughs> There you go, he's happy now. Talk about noisy eating. Once they had emptied the boat of all of its banana supplies, they soon vacated back onto their island. We were heading to the final island to meet a lemur we had met in the wild last episode. So now, we can get a bit of a closer look. These are lemur islands died and safarkas, and unlike the ones in the last episode, they didn't particularly mind people. The died and safarkas were certainly stunning, and I can understand why they are considered to be the most beautiful of all lemurs. But now, we are about to meet the diadem safarkas and pretty much all lemurs' worst nightmare. So, just come over to this cage next to the crocodile farm, and behind me is a fusa. So this is Madagascar's top predator, and it hunts lemurs. It is absolutely an exceptional climber, and is known to pick off lemurs at night and follow troops. Well, it just looks a bit bored here, really. The elusive cat-like fusa is almost impossible to find in these eastern rainforests, as they are incredibly cryptic. They are Madagascar's top predator. Whilst it may look similar to a cat, the fusa is actually more closely related to mongoose and civets. The fusa belongs to the family Eupleuridae, that represents all of Madagascar's mammalian carnivores. We met another member back in St. Luce, the Fanaloka, but the fusa is much bigger. Its semi-retractable claws and highly flexible ankles allow the fusa to climb up and down trees head first, as well as allowing it to jump from tree to tree. The fusa is feared among Malagasy people, and is thankfully protected by their local taboos. However, increased habitat loss is further threatening the conservation status of this animal, and it is currently listed as vulnerable. Next week, for our final episode, 
we will be venturing into the dense secondary rainforests of Anomazawatra Reserve to search for the world's largest and noisiest species of lemur. That's a noise I've been waiting to hear for a very long time, and they sound pretty close. <laughs> 